The first uh, phase of formation for our community we name the postulancy, and so you're a postulant in our community, and that is from one to two years. And it can vary, but currently, right now, mostly what the postulants do is they travel from sister to sister across the U.S. and get to visit with them for a pro, like maybe two or three days. And they pray with them and they live in community with them and they go to their, their ministry sites. And so they get to kind of just see how does a sister of Providence live and what does that mean to that particular sister? Because of course it's different for every person. Um, and so then after the postulancy comes the novitiate, and so that is a two-year process, and the first year we call our canonical novitiate, and that is a year of lots of prayer and introspection. You do take classes throughout your entire formation, and, and during your postulancy and novitiate are going to inter-community uh, experiences where you get to meet other young women and men from all different types of community, or from all different apostolic communities, but all different communities. So you might have Franciscans or Dominicans, um, Sisters of Mercy, all come together and you talk about a different topic um, whenever you meet. And so that's another educational piece. So the canonical year is um, a lot of prayer, a lot of kind of extended retreat periods of time. Um, Kind of, I think of the postulancy as a moment, a time when you're seeing if the external fits, if if what you're seeing about the Sisters of Providence fits what you want to do and how you want to live in your life. And the the canonical novitiate is more about the internal, if the internal fits, and you're really going into some spaces with prayer and discernment that you've never been before, and it can be a very difficult and emotional year, but it's also a real blessing to just kind of take the time. You know, how often do we get to do that in this life, to just take a year and really look into ourselves about where, where are we being called? Um, are we being called to be here? Maybe we are, maybe we aren't. Um, so that's, I think, the purpose of the canonical novitiate. And then the second year of the novitiate would be your mission novice year. And so you're sent out on mission. And usually you move out of the mother house um, and go to any one of the cities that Sisters of Providence live and in, in minister in. And everyone does something different. Sometimes people go into school. Sometimes people work uh, in their current ministry. Sometimes they find a ministry that they've never done before. If they've been a teacher, but now they're working in parish work. Um, and so that's, that's a period of discernment, certainly before you begin that. So after a period of that year, if you've discerned and the community has discerned, then you'll take first vows and then you're in temporary profession, which is very much like mission novice year. I mean, it looks a lot like mission novice year. Oftentimes you don't move ministries or places of residence after taking vows. Uh, sometimes you do, but oftentimes you don't. And so then the, year, the years of temporary profession are kind of a less intense period of formation where we're still in conversation about what what is it that we're being called to do what is it what is it that being a sister of providence means and is that what i'm called to be but it is less intense than the first three years which are more kind of focused towards those particular goals